If you're a fan of Flash like I am, then you have to be really excited about Flash CS6 and the ability to export your Flash movies to HTML5 instead of Flash Movie Swifts using the Flash Player. In recent years, the Flash Player has been denigrated by companies like Apple that have refused to put Flash Movies or Flash Player support in their iPhone and their iPad and recently the Android mobile devices are no longer uh, supporting um, the Flash Player either. So the ability to take your Flash movies, which you know I've always had a lot of fun creating Flash animations, and then um, export them to HTML5 is just uh, really welcome news for somebody who likes developing with Flash. So this is pretty exciting. So what are you going to need to do to try this out? Well, what you want to do is you need to, if you want to use this in Adobe Flash CS6, I've got CS6 open here right now, what you want to do is you need the toolkit, and we'll bring it up here, the toolkit for CreateJS, right? And this will create uh, basically JavaScript and export all of your Flash assets, your graphics, your animations into JavaScript and you can see you install it through the Adobe Extensions Manager so you're going to need to go to Start All Programs, open up your Adobe folder Design and Web Premium here I have and you can see here the Extension Manager is right in there with your other Adobe programs. Now um, once you have it open you won't see it in here you'll have to install it and so to install it if you try to search for it you won't find it you have to go out on the web and download it first and then install it. Now I've got another tool here that I'm going to be talking about and that is Swiffy. Now Swiffy is released by Google and Swiffy does a similar thing. It converts Flash Swifts or Flash movies to HTML5 and it does a really amazing job. So I've downloaded it and installed it also and I'll talk about that as well. So two tools here that you have to have if you're using Flash CS6. So let's go over to the website and see if we can find it. So if you go to Google just do a search in Google for Toolkit for CreateJS and you'll find this page at the Adobe website and you can see there's a button here Download for Flash Professional Toolkit for CreateJS and there's other pages too on the Adobe website that have this toolkit for CreateJS so download it and you'll download it to your desktop and I'll talk about that for a second here when you download it to your desktop it's going to be a zipped package you can see I've got it right here. Here's the zipped package. And what you want to do is you want to convert the contents of this zipped package into a .zxp file, which then can install into the Adobe Extensions Manager. If you look here, if I click Install, it's looking, the Adobe Extensions Manager is looking for a .zxp or .mxp file. Now here's the trick. When you unzip this toolkit for CreateJS. I'm going to unzip it right now or extract it. Just right click on it and select Extract All or I have Extract here as an option. And it's going to extract the contents contents of this uh, toolkit for CreateJS. And you can see that it unzips the contents and just um, drops them all over the place. And if you look closely there is no file in here to install directly into the Adobe Extensions Manager CS6. For instance, there's a file here called .mxi, and .mxi is not recognized by the Adobe Extensions Manager. If you click Install, there's a .mxp that it, it can install, or a .zxp, but no .mxi. So what you want to do is you want to basically double-click on this file, and it'll say, hey, save extension package as a .zxp and you'll click save and it will take all of these assets that you unzipped and it will compress them into this package right here, this zxp file. And then you can install into the Adobe Extensions Manager. So that's what I did and it worked out pretty good. So I'll just delete these here now because I no longer need them. And so once you've done that you'll have your .zxp file and you can install it into the Adobe Extensions Manager. And I also downloaded Swiffy and did that. Now Swiffy was a little bit easier. If we go to the website, 
just do a search for Swiffy and you'll find the Google web page for it and you can test it out by uploading your flash movies right here and having them convert right in this web page into HTML5 and it's pretty impressive and let's uh, let's give it a, a try here so we'll browse and we'll go to let's say the desktop here actually I don't have any Swifts on me right now so we'll pass that up but let's download the Swiffy extension let's click download and you can see it takes you to the extension page and there's the download button right here and it shows you how to install it through the Adobe Extension Manager which we just covered. So now you have it installed. Another thing is when you go to install these um, extensions in the Adobe Extension Manager you need to be closed out of Flash before you do it. Alright so once you have them installed you can close that up and you can open up Flash and test it out. So let's take a look here. I've got a file now this file has um, no action script code, it just has graphics and animation. So let's make a quick little Flash movie out of it. And there you can see there's the Swift file. This is the Flash movie playing in the Flash player. And you can see here it's just got some animation, some glowing, um, some gradients here, some transparency. So some pretty fancy graphics, right, animating, but just a very simple animation, no code. So let's see if how these tools handle it so for uh, the toolkit for create.js what you're going to do is you're going to go to window once you have it installed go to other panels and you can see it says toolkit for create.js opens up the toolkit and you can just click publish and you can see it wants to publish and show you right away in an Internet Explorer browser window, whatever you have, Firefox, Internet Explorer, I'm going to allow the blocked content, and there it is. There's the animation, right? And if you right-click on it, you'll see that there's no Flash movie here. This is HTML5. Fantastic, right? Okay, so that's pretty nice. And let's try it from Swiffy. So we'll try the same thing, but this time from Swiffy. So we've got the Flash movie here. Notice there's some output here. If something doesn't work correctly, it'll post warnings and errors up here for you to deal with. So here's once again the Flash movie. This time I'm going to export it with Swiffy. So I'm going to go to Commands and Export as HTML5 Swiffy. And we'll hit Enter. And allow the blocked content. And there it is. So you can see that Swiffy did the same exact thing. So that's pretty nice. All right, now let's try to do it with something a little fancier. So I've got this other um, Flash file here. This is a little game that I created of asteroids using ActionScript 2 and Flash. I created this a long time ago, many years ago. So let's see what happens. If I hit Control Enter, here's the Flash movie. You can see this is the Flash movie, and you click Begin and you can see the ship can fly around and it, it's just like asteroids right you can shoot and right alright so there it is there's the flash game right so we'll close that out and now let's try to publish this with the toolkit for create.js so once again you go to window other panels and toolkit for create.js and you can open up this toolkit and then we'll just hit publish and we'll allow the blocked content and you can see that the toolkit for create.js does not handle the action script well at all in fact it doesn't really convert the action script to javascript the toolkit for create.js just works with animations so timeline animations and graphics so if this was an animation with graphics and no code no action script right and by action script you can see here we've got action script here on the timeline right window actions you can see that there is action script on here so it doesn't handle the action script well at all but let's give it a try with the Swiffy tool so I've got this flash animation here. I'll put it back on first keyframe and we'll just go to commands export as HTML5 Swiffy and we'll see what happens here and we'll allow the blocked content 
and it looks like the Swiffy tool is able to convert the the game from action script to JavaScript and put an HTML5 HTML5 game together pretty easily and so that's pretty amazing right and you can see here if I right click on this this is not a flash movie this is in fact HTML5 so it's JavaScript with exported graphics and everything so let's that is pretty amazing so let's take a look at how it looks in the folder so I'm going to open up the folder and you can see here I've got some flash files in here and you can see here is my asteroid game flash file and here is the flash movie that I made with it so there's the Swift file and then for um, for the Swiffy output you can see that it created an HTML5 document a web page a JavaScript document with the JavaScript for the game right and it looks like that's it and oh I think actually it's this asteroid dan 5swifthtml 5 I think this is the document that was created by Swiffy yes as opposed to this other one which was created by the toolkit for CreateJS so really great developments for Flash CS6 uh, coming from Google and from Adobe I believe Adobe and Google are working together on this uh, and I'm hoping that uh, they continue to work together it's really uh, great news for those of us who like um, doing things in Flash and making games in Flash and using the the timeline and the movie clips to create dynamic content so this is really really nice